Okay, so now, before we get into modeling, let me show you a few tricks. One of the things that you should always know in all 3D modeling programs is the fact that you can switch between different variations of components and highlight many components at once based upon its edge loops. Too many times have I seen this. I'm going to hit X and delete this and go in hold space and go add mesh UV sphere and hit OK. I'm going to go back into its edit mode and go to faces and deselect everything by hitting A. I see people go in here all day long and hold shift and highlight a bunch of components and try to make it maybe all the way around the ball. Okay. When in Blender, I'm going to hit A to deselect those, there is a nice feature in Blender if you hold Alt and click on maybe this area right here, this edge loop, which is commonly known as an edge ring or yeah, an edge ring. Anytime a ring appears like this, so little edges that make all the way around, that's an edge ring. An edge loop is a loop of edges that go all the way around. Here's, here's the difference. An edge ring, hold Alt and click on about right here on the ball. This is an edge ring. Okay. It becomes an edge loop in edge mode. Hold Alt and click on the edge. This is an edge loop. If I wanted to highlight an edge ring, I couldn't do that in edge mode. I would have to do that in this mode, face, okay, and then switch to edges. Okay. Anytime that you have this, anytime that you're using the components and being able to switch between them, it allows you to very quickly highlight very m a large majority of the mesh in you know either of the axes very quickly. If I hold shift, notice I can highlight big blocks of this without having to worry about going around the entire edge or even leaving this view for that matter and switching to a side view and maybe box selecting something which I'm gonna get to later in another video here. Okay now another thing that is very very nice about Blender is this. Let's say for instance I'm going to be using this middle of the ball a lot in modeling and I want to be able to highlight it very quickly. Well let's go into edges for example hit A to deselect it and go into maybe an edge loop this time. Hold Alt, click on this one, and Alt Shift on one down here. This middle of the ball I want to highlight all the time. Well, if I'm going to highlight it all the time, I can go into Control E on the keyboard, and this is my Edge Specials menu. See, I also have Edge Loop Select, Edge Loop Ring Select, Loop Region, and about you know a whole bunch of other ones that I just quickly did using just the alt button. This time I want to mark a seam though. Seams are like this. I did not cut the ball in any three parts or anything like that. A seam just allows me to do some special stuff. In UVs later on we're going to look at seams in a different way. But when modeling a seam is very powerful because now I can grab a face here and hitting L on the keyboard allows me to only highlight the section where it's at. So if it's down here, down here, down here, I can quickly jump between them. So as a last thing for the exercise of this video, let's go in here and maybe delete the section in the center only. I do that by hitting X on the keyboard and then going into faces. Maybe for some weird reason I want these two different objects. How would I do that? P on the P keyboard will go into all loose parts where they now become two separate objects. Hitting tab makes me able to go into the different objects and then move them. Okay.
pretty sweet, right? That's the way you got to think is like what makes your modeling session easier is how do I select stuff without switching views? And that's a quick way right there to highlight stuff in views without leaving the view. All right, in the next video, I'll show you how to do some other selection tools.